Welcome everyone to April 1957, a slightly different format for this um, 40th episode. The magazine that was scanned in through Playboy, this is where I get the magazines from, is through their subscription service, um, but they scanned it in double page, so I'll be presenting it as double page. I think there's some future issues which are also done like this, so we'll work with it as it comes along. Um, but we'll get started, so we have the front cover, um, pretty standard, um, nothing too uh, sort of flashy about it, so we'll move on. Uh, Playbill we have in the magazine as usual, um, usual adverts coming through, nothing out of the blue here this is what you're going to be kind of used to now from seeing the previous episodes um this stands out a little bit rebel in a union suit obviously this flag is um not seen much anymore i think it was um banned i think under obama possibly um i think the use of this flag so but obviously this is the 50s so we can accept it there um we have this a uh, little advert here for projection color um, this is tv so this is interesting we're starting to see the technology improving obviously the photography we've seen improve and we'll see it in this issue with the playmate centerfold which is a double page uh, full spread and you'll see that uh, because this is laid out as a double page as well which is nice so the sergeant and the slave girl by tk brown um not a overly great story but you can find this online if you'd like to have a read through it we have ex urbanites at play, and this is about uh, the people who were once sort of party goers and the sort of man about town who lived in the city and went to the restaurants and what life is like afterwards once they have children and everything else. So the usual kind of story that you would have read previously. I think there was one similar to this in a, a previous issue. The complete sports car stable. Uh, interesting that you know automobiles are returned. We haven't had it for a few issues. We had some motor racing, some other cars in some prior um, episodes, but we've got um, a nice selection here. Actually, we've got the Porsche Super, Lancia GT, Bentley Continental. Um, we have the Mercedes Benz 300 SL, the Ford Thunderbird, and the Jaguar XK 140 MC. And I think this um, Mercedes here is the 300 SL is the one that. Um, who haven't actually owned um, you'll see it in one of his Playboy penthouse uh, apart, um, videos if you've ever seen it he drives in in the intro and I believe it's a 300 SL I think uh, I'd have to double check that but I'm pretty sure um, so yeah some nice photographs here of all the various models um, so you, we start to see that coming through a little bit more we have another article here all through the night um, so again Nelson Algren worth having a look online and looking at some of the other fiction that he's done uh, he's done quite a lot so an, an author that's worth looking at some nice imagery here as well come rain come shine this is obviously just about the kind of overcoat and trench coat and it does mention uh, the particular material which is gabardine or a white cotton gabardine which is just the actual way the um material is woven sometimes you have a combination of like silk um cotton and wool or something like that it's common in suits uh, particularly at this time but all the colours are pretty bland. That's the thing that I kind of noticed, like these three here, very beigey, obviously apart from these ones. But obviously that's the fashion at the time. The usual cartoon with the two ladies that we've seen before. Shrimp Supreme, so how to cook shrimps, best ways to cook them, where to find them. Uh, all the usual goodness that you'll get from Thomas Mario, who's been writing for the magazine for months on end now. Uh, more of the cartoons, I'm just going to zoom in slightly so we can see these a little bit better. Um... So yeah, we've got uh, 500, uh, he'll say six, six the man, uh, bid 600, do I hear seven? So it's like a little auction for uh, this gentleman coming up. We have our playmate, playmate of the month for April, uh, and this is Gloria Windsor. Um, so again, a nice four page color. Let's just go back. So again, this is the first time you've actually seen the images joined up. I have done these on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, but this is the first time you'll see it as a double spread in this unless you have your own subscription and you've seen all of these before so a short pictorial not lots of photos in this one playboy part jokes is a lot further on in the magazine um, now as well uh, victory parade again an author worth checking out henry's lazar um did lots of um fictional pieces um and much of it was kind of had a twist at the end very good at writing in that style uh, so worth checking that out cartoon charles w miller the standard one again i love the realism he's, he's the master of expression i think facial expressions in cartoons better than jack cole um really good um just the way that it's sort of makes them animated uh, I, I think it's uh, superb 
the Ribold Classic, uh, which you know about. I don't know when that stops yet. It's been going since 1954. I think it was around March, April time, somewhere around there. Um, another cartoon. And then we have this little article here, which is quite interesting about Lexington Avenue in New York. And there's a, a modeling studio and it has a little sort of behind the scenes um, story about the, the models and the photographers and that kind of thing. So everything's becoming gradually more and more liberal. Um, you see the outfits and that kind of thing. Uh, so things are moving along. They're, they're heading in that direction in a way. I think Play, Playboy was just a part of that movement, which was already in motion, the kind of uh, the liberal movement. And Playboy just capitalised on it. You can see it's, it's already happening uh, well before Playboy even printed its first issue, but I think Playboy really pushed it along. Uh, and Hemingway's back for Pastiche, which has been running uh, for, uh, I think, six, seven episodes now. This uh, similar style of cartoon, which we've seen before, um, always done in like a kind of tribal style or kind of ancient, but always has that symbol of um, sort of sexual sexuality in there. Uh, and we go through to just the usual ads and the stories which are all finishing off and it still annoys me that the stories don't run on consecutive pages they go to the back and then you have to go forward so when I'm reading these I'm starting at the front skipping to the back losing my page it's a, a pain but we'll get through those and I think that improves later on uh, interesting to see like a nice seems like a higher end kind of um jewelry advert in here so you see the photography is getting much better the adverts the productions are much higher um, so it's a kind of solid issue, but um, not not the best that we've seen so far. But I think the um, some of the photography photography is pretty good in here, especially for the playmate of the month. But um, yeah, a relatively straightforward and uh, I say simple issue. But I'm going to be reading the next one, which will hopefully be a lot better. I hope you have a good weekend. And if there's anything else you want to see in these magazines, as I've said before please let me know um, if there's anything you want me to sort of expand upon, anything you want me to dial back, um, anything you want me to just discuss in depth. And if you want to have a chat about anything that you see in these magazines, you can contact me on Twitter or Facebook or send me a message for, for YouTube. Uh, eventually, I'd like to have some discussions via some kind of podcast about these magazines and see what other people think of them. So uh, let me know if you have any questions, have a think, and I'll probably see you on Sunday for uh, May 1957. I'll see you later on.